Legal advice is not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. So you know, I'm thinking, see, I'm analyzing that data, but like I tell every day, the day they release us is false. It's going to give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, everybody's asking me, when do I think the lawsuit's going to be over? What do I think the judge is going to rule? Listen. I believe that the lawsuit is far from over. I mean, it's far from over. And not only is it far from over, you have to look at what um, Vice Chancellor Zern said. What Vice Chancellor Zern said that whether the, the date is June 29th or June 30th, she will not be making a decision on that day. So who knows if the decision will come down a week later, a month later, Two months later or six months later. Because maybe Judge Zern, after she gets all the information, maybe she might have to do her own investigation. Maybe she might have to call in additional people. I don't know. I don't know. But what I do know is June 29th or June 30th is not the end of the lawsuit. And and this is just my opinion. I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell Ape. I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell AMC. But I believe... That the longer this takes, it puts so much pressure on these criminals, on these bad actors that have been, that have been naked shorting AFC to death. I want you to tell me how a stock where nobody is selling, that the same amount of people are owning it for over two years, is able to go from $72 down to $4.50 in a fair and transparent market where the rules of supply and demand exist. It doesn't happen. In any other stock, when the price goes down, the OBV goes down. AMC is the only stock that drops, like, what's that? Eight, nine hundred percent? And the OBV must, may, remains the same. It's absolutely outrageous. It's absolutely illegal, in my opinion. It is overwhelming evidence of the fraud and corruption related with AMC. Yet the SEC, they see what I see, but they don't care. The DTCC, they see what I see, but they don't care. FINRA, CFTC, they all know what's going on. The evidence of the fraud and corruption is overwhelming. But as I said before, the longer the lawsuit takes, the more pressure is going to be on these bad actors. And as far as I'm concerned, in my opinion, and once again, I'm not telling you to buy or to sell any stock, but at any day, a catalyst could send AMC to the moon. And as far as I'm concerned, it could happen any day now. That's just my opinion. And once again, do your own DD. I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell any stock. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that the longer this lawsuit draws out, the more pressure it puts on the criminals? to close out their AMC short positions. Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.